At Honda, our dreams are always revving. From our earliest beginnings in Japan to the joy of motorsports today. For Mr. Honda, this all meant one thing, delivering on the joy of driving every day. This year, Honda is celebrating 50 years of sales in America, and Honda is proud to participate in this year's 2020 edition of the Japanese Classic Car Show. Honda's entries this year reflect our evolution in designing and producing performance-inspired vehicles. One of Honda's original dream machines from Japan is our first entry. Making its first ever appearance as a classic car in the United States, it's the S800 Coupe. Built in Japan in 1967, this S800 features an inline four-cylinder double overhead cam engine in a unique fastback style. With 70 horsepower from just 791 cc's, this engine produces an amazing 1.5 horsepower per cubic inch. The engine has four side draft carburetors and red lines at 8,500 RPM. The S-Series was Honda's first generation of sports cars. This particular model was recently acquired by American Honda President and Chief Executive Officer Shinji Aoyama and is a prime example of Honda's earliest dreams. Honda's entry from the 70s is the 1976 Accord hatchback. This first generation Accord presented a new way of thinking about automobiles when it was introduced in the mid-70s, and it was only available as a three-door hatchback. The Accord weighed in around 2,000 pounds, compared to over 3,500 pounds for most other cars of the time. Accord became an early favorite for those seeking a nimble passenger car alternative. The Accord also featured an aluminum cylinder head, five-speed transmission, and a feature list you'd find on larger conventional cars. The 1976 Accord was hailed by Road & Track magazine as probably the best automotive buy in the U.S. today. Accord went on to become one of the world's most popular vehicles of all time. For the 80s, Honda is proud to present the 1986 Civic Si. This was the first ever Civic Sport injected model ever to come to the U.S. It featured a five-speed gearbox, a 91 horsepower single overhead cam engine, tilt steering wheel, and removable glass sunroof. Motor Trend said, almost anyone buying an SI will soon be a performance-minded driver. Civic SI went on to become an American favorite and set the trend for performance variants for years to come. Honda's entry for the 90s is the 1993 Honda Prelude. This fourth generation version of Honda's sporty coupe generated 160 horsepower from its twin cam 2.2 liter engine. CNET called this car an absolute blast when it made a special press drive reappearance at the Radwood Auto Show last year. Not too many vehicles can still make that claim after 27 years of existence. And this Prelude has a fun little trick, four wheel steering allowing for extra agility at lower speeds and enhanced stability at high speeds. So, what about today? The ultimate embodiment of Honda Performance Heritage is the 2020 Civic Type R. Fast forward to the future with a turbocharged 306 horsepower engine and 295 pound-feet of torque. The Type R carries 70 years of Honda's performance heritage and it's the true driver enthusiast vehicle of its generation. The Type R features an electronic adaptive damper system that improves turn-in and helps keep the car planted, even in bumpy high-speed corners. And with its newly designed floating two-piece rotors, even aggressive braking on the track is under control. The Civic Type R, the master of its time. Honda is proud to celebrate its 50 years of sales in America with the Japanese Classic Car Show in 2020. A salute to high performance dreams through the generations and the promise of more to come. <laughs>